Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at how to use one of the new Muse features, Adobe Muse, to create a not only a mobile site or a mobile version of our site, but more importantly, a mobile menu to go on that site. So in the latest update for Adobe Muse, um, one of the things we got was the ability to have more than one layout. Up until now, Muse has you know, primarily just laid out a desktop version of the site. Now you get the advantage of having not only a desktop version, but a tablet version and a smartphone version as well. And of course, these are optional. You can make all three, you can make just one, you can make two, and it doesn't matter which one, two, or three you make. So if you want it just a mobile site, you can build one just for smartphones. If you wanted a desktop version and a tablet version, you can build that. If you want all three, you can build all three. So we're actually going to take a look at a site that I built or actually rebuilt from an old site that I'd, I'd been using for years and years and years. I decided to rebuild the entire thing in Adobe Muse, as well as um, adding the tablet and uh, smartphone layouts. So here's how it works. So here's the desktop version. And by the way, if you want to head over to the site um, after this is over, the site is macgroup.org. M-A-C-G-R-O-U-P dot org. And it's a live site. You can actually see uh, how it was built or see the actual working site built with Muse. Now what's new in this last update for Adobe Muse is the ability to have not only the desktop version, but you can click and add a tablet layout if you don't have one or a phone layout if you don't have one. So here's the traditional desktop view. I've gone ahead and added a tablet view, which looks great on things like iPads and Samsung Galaxies and Kindles and things like that. And also a phone view, which looks great on smartphones, whether they're iOS or Android or Windows uh, mobile. Now, here's where we wanna add that new menu. If we go to the home page for the mobile version, there is no menu at all. And of course, you could go to your widgets you could drag out the traditional menu, but with a mobile layout, you don't have that much space to work with anyway. So what we really want is we want the menu to expand and contract as the user taps on it. So if the user taps on it, menu drops down, choose what they want, menu goes away. As opposed to it being there all the time, taking up precious space on our mobile um, site. So I'm gonna uh, close the home page. I'm gonna to go to the master page, which is where we're gonna build all this. And I wanna point out that you've got uh, these, um, these guides here. You have the top of the page and you have the header. You have the footer as well as the bottom of the page. And we're gonna work with that uh, header quite a bit. So I just wanna point that out, just let you know that that's there. As a matter of fact, we're just gonna go ahead and drag it down now. And I'm just gonna drag it down most of the way out of the page. We'll adjust it as needed because uh, we know we want that to expand and contract with the object that we're going to put on the page. And what we're going to put our mobile menu in so that it can expand and contract is one of the built-in panels. It's called an accordion. So we're going to drag out a standard accordion, and we use accordions for all kinds of things. Uh, my colleague showed me how to use this as a menu um, for mobile sites, and I was very jazzed about that. Now it defaults to three um, accordion panels. We only need one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this one and delete. And then I'm gonna click on this one and click again and delete. So now we're left with just the one. And you can style this any way you want. Of course, we don't need the uh, sample text in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the sample text out. And that way I can now uh, size this accordion the way I want. And before I even bother putting anything in it, there's lots of things I need to do. First of all, I want to uh, adjust the options so that it can close, so that you know I can close all the panels, which in this case, just one. And I do want it closed initially. So when the user goes to that page or any page that this is on, uh, the menu will be there ready to drop down, but it won't already be down. Now there's some other design uh, things we need to do here. So for example, um, you can call this text whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and call it menu just for now, but it will be hidden by a graphic that I'm going to put on top of it anyway. The next thing is that these uh, accordion panels um, 
have a stroke already on them. So I'm going to remove the stroke or basically make the stroke none or make it zero, either one. And also uh, these have rollover states. So for example, there's the normal state, there's the rollover, there's the active, and I want to change that for the main um, trigger. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, first of all, that this again has no uh, bar whatsoever. Um, just make sure it's on none and zero, just for safety. I'm also going to say that it's filled with nothing. And I'm going to do that for, I'm actually going to make sure that I do that primarily in the normal state. That's where I usually screw this up. And no stroke. And zero. And then I'm going to uh, get rid of the other states. Now, uh, sometimes, you know, depending on what order you do this in, I usually do it on the wrong order first, so I have to go back and redo it. But you want to start probably on a normal state and get rid of everything, make it the way you want, then get rid of all the other states. Okay, so now I've done that. So these are basically um, empty with no uh, fill, no, well, actually that one's got a fill. Actually, we'll leave the white fill on there. And uh, this one should be empty, no fill, no stroke. We'll actually also make it a little taller for our graphic. Okay, so now we're pretty much ready to go. We need two things. We need our menu to go in the content area and we need our graphic to go in the trigger area. So let's do the graphic first. Uh, since that's already selected, we'll just go up to our file menu, choose place. I have a nice graphic already sized and ready to go called mobile header. And then we'll just go ahead and drop the mobile header into the space and we'll maybe need to adjust it Make sure that the trigger actually is pretty good. The trigger actually fits just right into that graphic. Okay, great. Now the next thing we need is the actual menu to go into the content area. So for that, we will use one of the built-in menus. We'll use the vertical one. We'll just drag and drop that in from the widget library. And that will, since it's a real menu, that will actually pick up all the pages from the site. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just make some adjustments here. We'll put this in the content area. We'll expand the width of it. You can style this to whatever you want to style it to. So for example, uh, for the background um, color here, I want to change that to a swatch that I already have. that kind of matches my other colors. And I also want to change the type to a paragraph style that I've already got set up as well. And we'll go ahead and recenter the type. So again, style the menu any way you want. Once you get it the way you want, you can then adjust the bottom of the accordion to go, you know, just the bottom of the menu. And you want to adjust the, the header to go right to the bottom of the content area. So we'll just line those up. And we should now have a working menu. So if we go and preview this, um, use will preview um, uh, for various smartphone sizes, you can choose iPhone 4, iPhone 5, smart or Samsung Galaxy S3, or Nokia. Uh, we can go ahead and test, and there's our menu, and there's our menu going away. So I did it. Now let's. Uh, now that we've tested it on the master page, let's go and look at some actual pages. So we will close the master page, and of course, since we put it on the master, it put it on all the pages. So if we go back to the home page, there's our menu. I'd probably expand it out so that we don't have this white space, but you get the idea. And now if we preview this, the menu is collapsed by default. And when we, uh, we can again look at this on different size devices. But now when we tap, we get our menu. When we tap again, the menu goes away. So it kind of pushes the content down because it's above the header. And so it's sliding the header down, pushing the content down instead of covering the content when the menu is there. And that's just one example of how you can use uh, one of the panels and a, you know, a menu to make your mobile site more mobile friendly. And again, you can go test this site out right now at macgroup.org on your tablet, your desktop, or your smartphone. If you do it on your smartphone, you'll actually see this menu in operation. That's it for this episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.